Hey, Julie here with Just Plain Fun, and today I'm going to show you or do an unboxing today of something that makes it easier to do a diamond painting. This is my own design of diamond painting, and I will explain how I did this in an upcoming video. Um, it is my own design. I didn't order it. It did not come kitted. I did it myself. I designed it, printed it, and... Uh, well, I'll explain that in another video. That's not the purpose of this video. What I want to talk about is magnifying glasses. And I've been using this one made with PVC. And it works fine, but it's kind of clumsy. And the, the, the lens is not quite big enough. But I'm able to move it around and I'm able to work with it. It works pretty well. Um, so let me place one of these. Because I'm going to try to make it so you can see what I'm doing. Make it a little bit bigger. Boy, see, it's an, under the camera. It's kind of awkward. But it does work. And I'm just going to go ahead and place it so that I can see it here. But anyway, it's, you know, it makes it easier to do. But I wanted something different than this. I want something that is going to light up my surface and is not so clumsy. But for now, it was working. All right, so set this aside, and I'm going to pull out what I just ordered, or what I just got. It is in this box. I haven't opened it all the way, and I'm going to push out here just a second. That's as far out as I can go. Okay, so I'll try to get it out of the box as quickly as I possibly can. Let's get those drills out of the way. And this one lights up, and the stand is part, also a clip-on. And I like popping these things. They're fun. <laughs> okay, that goes in, in... Around here, this stuff does not get recycled, so I have to put it in the regular trash, unfortunately. Okay, pull this out. I got my sales slip. i got to make sure I keep that. Throw the box. Get rid of that. Okay, so you ready? This is what it is. The stand is also a clip-on. So let's go take a look at it. I don't think the clip-on part will be attached from the stand. I believe it's all in one. Yeah, it is. It's all in one. And definitely bigger. That's good. And it does not look like it did on the website. It's totally different. And I'm hoping I can clamp it on my desk. No, I probably won't be able to, but that's okay. Let me try it anyway. Yes, I can. Look at that. You can't see it, but I can clamp it on my desk. On my desk, it works. All right. So, basically... If I can orient this right, because it topples over. And it's got lights. It's got lights on it. Pull that off. See, it's got lights. And I'll pull this plastic piece off. It's not like the photo, but I will provide a link in the description for this particular light, light up thing. Oh, it can be brighter too. See, I don't even need instructions. And it comes with, oh, it does come with another stand. <laughs> it is detachable. So cool. All right. And it comes with a USB charging cord. All right. See the USB charging cord? <laughs> All right. I, you know, this is one of those things where I may or may not read the directions. Shut off the light. Wow, it gets bright. That's cool. All right, this is going to be fun to use. All right, no wonder it falls over. It's not attached to its stand. Let's get rid of the box. Okay, instructions. Okay, you know what? You can't see the instructions, but I'm not going to use the magnifier to read about the magnifier. I'm just going to zoom in. 
Yeah, follow instructions. People take the time to write them, okay? Instructions, you learn a lot from them. There's a lot of people that don't read instructions. They really should. I mean, someone actually took the time to write them in English and in other languages. This one looks, I don't know if it's Japanese or Chinese. It's probably Chinese. Seems as though it's probably made in China. Anyway, so it says range of application. It's applicable to printing, engraving, education, gardening, jewelry, appraisal, coin stamp, collecting. It can also be used separately as a table lamp. And you can use it in diamond painting. I, it does not say that. I just put that in there. All right. So, of course, you got your magnifier. That's here. Duh. And you got the flexible hose. That's what they call it. They call it a flexible hose. Okay. Three groups of LED lamps. Right there. There we go. Three groups of LED lamps. And that gets pretty bright. See? Wow, look at that. That's fun. That's going to be nice. Maybe I won't be able to, won't have to use my overhead lights that I've been using that causes glare. Maybe I can just use this. And then the magnification. Wow. That's pretty good. All right. So this one here, according to, let me go get the box. And I, it's, I just threw it. Let me go get the box. Good grief. Oh. All right. It says that it, uh, what is the magnification on it? It says micro USB, blah, blah, blah. High definition, jewelry, appraisal, electronics, inspection. Uh, now, how is a person supposed to know what the magnification is in the store if you see it on a shelf? Because it doesn't actually say it on the box. It's 110 millimeters in diameter. Hmm. Well, according to the website, Amazon.com, that's where you can find it. Um, I believe it was a 10 times, up to 10 times. I would imagine, though, no, it does say 5 times and 10 times. I would imagine the way that works is the big section is 5 times, and the teeny tiny section here is 10 times, which is basically uh, useless. <laughs> Unless you're doing fine things like watches and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to read this a little bit, but not out loud. You can read it if you decide to buy it. Okay, foot mounting. Insert the interface at the end of the table lamp. Okay, it's not going to stay put. Okay. Okay. Now that's a quite the nice table base. That's cool. This is probably self-explanatory. Maybe not. See, got to read the instructions. I don't want to break it. Insert the interface at the end of the table lamp handle into the slot on the table lamp base. Then press the front end of the clamp into the slot at the front of the base. So these things here. This is, this is actually really... I keep turning the lights on. Okay. Aha! You push it in the end, and then you push it down. That was easy. Removal of the assembly base. If you need to remove the base to use the clamp, lower the base to the front. Lower the base to the front. The clamp can be taken out when two slots are pressed outwardly simultaneously. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not going to bother doing that. Cause now it stands on its own. Holy mackerel. Sorry, guys. That's not much better. Okay. But anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to put this over here, where I'll probably actually let it sit. And make it so that you can see what I'm doing. Hmm. And move this out of the way. Look at that. That actually, it does look better in real life here. You can actually see them. It's not, it's not focusing very well. 
Oh, that's worse. Let's try autofocusing. Yeah, we've got glare. I'm going to turn over headlights off. See what happens. Actually, you know what you're seeing? Those those three yellow dots? Those are my ceiling lights in the room. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the, that off. There you go. That's a little better. And I'm going to turn this light off. And I'm going to turn this light off. So, what's that glare from? Okay, turning lights back on. <laughs> oh, it's probably from this little magnification lens thing. But anyway, I think this is going to work fine. And uh, so I wanted to show you that new magnifier, which is so much better than this one, I think you would agree. I mean, this works at an angle, and but it's kind of tedious. And I think this one's going to be a whole lot easier, more hands-free, because I can actually lower it down and work under it, which I think will be really good for my angle. And I can twist it. Oh, my goodness. I wish you could see what I could see. Oh, stop the autofocus. Stop that. That really does make a difference. And I'm going to take a picture with my cell phone, and I'll post it right now so you can I mean, I'll post it so that way um huh you can see what I'm seeing well you can't see what I'm seeing even through the cell phone okay let's try it this way It does make a difference. Okay. Right about here, you'll see the uh, image uh, in the upper right or left corner or whatever, wherever it will fit. Anyway, I just wanted to show that to you. And I think this is going to work just fine for what I'm doing. And let me try to put a couple of dots in. If I had another camera easily accessible. All right. Oh, yeah. And lighting it up. Yeah, I do have a light pad, but I don't know where I put it right now. I'm not sure where it's located. But, boy, this is going to make a huge difference in uh, the way I do this. Wow. That really is something. Wish you could see what I see. But, um... All right, let's see. It's the glare. It's the glare. Now let's try the overhead lights. Get rid of these. Oh yeah, that's enough light on my work. That's good. Okay, so even though I'm having a hard time seeing it, I want you to see what I'm what I'm doing. If I could get rid of that glare. Well, that's what I get. Okay, well, this is, you know, see how bright that can get. But anyway, I want you to see the magnification on this thing. It actually does work. This really is cool. So let's see if I can find one. I can barely see. I have to go looking through my other magnifying glass. Because it does work. There we go. Let's do another one. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for now. I wanted to thank you for watching. And I'm going to be working on this project. And in a little while, probably the next video... I will um, talk about this project I'm working on. All right. Thank you. And um, thank you for watching. And until next time, have a great day. Goodbye.